Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about fear. Yes, fear. Now if you haven't already, I want you to click that red button down below so that you can subscribe to my channel and be notified when the next new video comes out. Now without further ado, let's talk about fear. So I wanted to talk about fear today because um, my trip, yes, this trip that I keep talking about, is coming up in days. And even though it's a trip to get away from the city for a while and experience something new, I'm looking at this trip as also a way to challenge myself with one of my fears. So, uh, full transparency, I have a fear of heights and fear of heights uh acrophobia i think it's called the terminology is um a lot of people tend to have a fear of heights so i'm i know i'm not alone but i have a fear of heights and i am using this trip to niagara falls yes one of the wonders of the world um to test my anxiety and my fear of heights now you're probably saying but tammy you live in a city that has skyscrapers everywhere and yes i do um to avoid having any anxiety issues or panic attacks while living here in my city i tend to avoid certain buildings um if i'm walking past a tall building i will count and I will keep my head down so as though I don't look up at it. Um, I have different techniques to help me navigate through New York City. I think one of my biggest feared buildings is the Cathedral of St. John the Divine. This is a cathedral that has is centuries old. It's not completed and it is huge huge and I came across it one day um, and feared for my life basically. Um, yes, I know it's a little dramatic but to me that fear is overwhelming and I can't control it half the time. But living in New York City, yes, I do have fear of skyscrapers because um, looking up brings on panic and I don't know where it came from. Um, I've had it for as long as I can remember, but I've never ever really challenged it. I've gone to the Statue of Liberty, but I've only stood on the pedestal. I've never gone fully up, and I was a kid then. So I decided that it's time to finally challenge this fear that I've had for so long because there's so many wonderful things out there. So many sculptures, so many natural um, formations that I would love to see, but even seeing it in video and in pictures, I still have this fear of panic and anxiety. Um, but that is my challenge. But here is the kicker to me going on this trip and my fear and challenging my fear. It is not the only fear that I'm challenging. Have you ever heard of reversed fear of heights? Yes, reverse fear of heights does exist. Now, I'm not going to pronounce the terminology for it. I've been trying to and I get tongue tied, but I'm going to put it so that you know the actual terminology of it. Um, but there is a such thing as reverse fear of heights and basically what this is is you have the same feeling of anxiety extreme anxiety and possible panic attack at looking up at things that are tall um so i have that fear as well and some things that that fear comes into play with comes into play with are things like mountains. I have a deathly fear of mountains, um, of tall 
redwood trees or just tall trees in general. Um, with that one, it's mostly, it mostly pertains to natural formations. Um, but I do have that fear also with some of the buildings here as well, looking up, especially at night or on a cloudy day, um, that fear kicks in and I get that same anxiety and same panic that comes throughout me. So this trip is going to test both of those because one of the days are planned to go on the tour boat, boat that goes near Niagara Falls and just thinking about it makes me fearful of the whole thing. But I also want it to challenge myself more and more. Um, fear is just, it lives in our minds and for the most part, doctors would tell you that uh, fear is just basically a figment of our imagined imagination. It's something that we draw up in our minds that prevents us from doing something or trying something new. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've wanted to try something new and venture into different areas and my anxiety and my fear have kicked in and prevented me from doing it. Now, although you may have a fear of something, that doesn't make you weak or make you less than someone who is, you know, capable of conquering anything that they set their minds to. It just means that you have a little roadblock that is preventing you from doing things that you might enjoy in life. Um, taking baby steps with conquering fear, I feel is the better way to go than to actually throwing yourself completely full on in. Why? Because it takes off chunks of that extreme anxiety and it breaks it down to smaller pieces. So although you may fear, I'm sorry, although you may feel ang anxious when you're doing your fear, when you're actually confronting your fear, it's not as extreme and massive because it's not the full picture of everything. I always love to do baby steps. So instead of jumping in full on and let's do this, let's kick this fear's ass, instead, I like to suggest baby steps, things that you get comfortable with that will lead you up to conquering your fear. And the biggest thing when it comes to that is not letting other people dictate how you will conquer your fear. I've had multiple people tell me when I zip lined in Las Vegas, multiple t people telling me, Oh, your fear, it's no big deal, it's in your head, blah, blah, blah. But it was up to me to be comfortable with myself in doing it. And on our second trip out to Vegas, I said, why not? Of course, I held on tightly to the, to the string, to the rope, and I, I didn't look down. I looked straight ahead. But I was proud of myself at the end because I challenged my fear of being up that high. Um... And I didn't let anyone else tell me how to challenge my fear. It was all me. It was all up to me. So when it comes to your fear, as much as people want to help you um, overcome it, you have to take into consideration yourself and your comfort and how you feel about accomplishing it. Maybe they, instead of them pushing you, maybe they can help you devise a plan on how to tackle your fear piece by piece until you're comfortable because nothing is built in a day, right? You have to take time to plan, to get material, to um, figure out the structure and, and build up to the final product. So when it comes to your fear, why not do the same blueprint? Um, I just... I really want to to do this and I do have the plan to actually go into St. John the Divine one day. But um I know I'm I need baby steps to lead up to that. And even though Niagara Falls is a huge step, to me it's a baby step. 
Um, another baby step for me would be to go into St. Patrick's Cathedral. I've never been in there, but I used to pass it all the time, going back and forth to work. And the more I pass it, the more I got used to it. And I'm not as fearful of the outside. So that was my baby step, to not be fearful of it, of the outside. Um, fears are just there to to prevent you from living life and doing things. And if you have the opportunity to challenge yourself and challenge your fear, I say go for it. Um, I, I, I don't want to live based around not doing things and seeing other people do these things and I'm not out there doing them myself and experiencing them myself. So this trip to Niagara Falls and we're going on the Canada side. So I'm also testing that fear of going into um, into areas I'm not comfortable with. So um, we're going on the Canada side and we're going to Niagara Falls and we're going to be there for a couple of days. So I'm probably going to see this waterfall for a couple of days and I'm going to challenge myself and see if I'm capable of doing it, which I know I am, but still, you know, I'm trying to give myself pep talks and I'm trying to get my mind centered around it. I've watched a couple of YouTube videos, um, just to see people's perspective from down on the boat, um, looking up at the waterfalls. And honestly, I think I'll do better looking over than looking up, but we'll see what happens once we get there. Um, of course, panic is going to come. Of course, my anxiety is going to raise, but I'm going to try my best to control everything while I'm there. Um, but yeah, that was my little talk on fears. I hope that you all can conquer your fear one day, or if you have conquered your fear, maybe you want to share it in the comments below of some of the things that have hindered you from enjoying this beautiful planet that we live on. Um, I feel like I conquer it piece by piece every day, just walking through New York City and, and walking past buildings, because sometimes I'll look back and I'll see a building and I'm like, damn, I can't believe it is that tall. I'll look up at it for a split second, but then I'm, you know, facing ahead. And I've managed to deal and, and be okay with living in my hometown for so long. So um, with your fears, I really do hope you are able to conquer them. I hope you're able to um, start tackling some of them. And I hope you don't let them stand in your way of just living the life you want to live. Uh, remember, fear is just a figment of your imagination. It isn't something that has come true as of yet. Um, our minds play scenarios, different scenarios, over and over again. And yeah, that scenario might happen, but... Probably nine times out of ten, it probably won't go the way you dream it would go or imagine it would go. But that was my talk on fear. Um, I hope me challenging myself inspires you to challenge yourself into getting up and doing something that you've never done before. Now, if you haven't already, I want you to go ahead and follow me on social all oh, on all my social media platforms and don't be afraid to DM me and we can chat about your fear and, and ways to overcome it. Um, or if you want to comment in the comments below, I read the comments all the time. I respond so we can talk there as well. But you can DM me on the Silent Torch on Instagram, and if you haven't already, I want you to please click that red button down below that says subscribe so that you can be notified when the next new video comes out. All right, everyone, wish me luck on this small baby, small big baby step I'm about to take in a couple of days, and I'll be sure to, to share it all with you all. All right, everyone, take care.